you can also fill that particular missing data right with your mean so how do you do that first of all let's check for one of our columns with a missing data so we see that the duration has been filled so it is now zero missing data now let's use the num voted users right so i'll be using this one so if i check for it as we already learned so i can just go with df right then it's going to tell us that there's a missing data so what will i what i will do is that i can find a mean of this and i need to fill that particular place so if i go with this mean of this it's going to give us this was one sorry it's going to give us still the same thing it was it's going to give us something any why is it giving us any the reason that anytime it meets an any it will back propagate it right so that to affect the entire stuff and see everything as any so the best way is to edit it out right so you are supposed to edit this one out and then find so how do you do that you can just use the find it's now right and then you're going to pass in this value to find the actual place that is having this this 11 so it's at the 11th, in, 11th index and then you can create your data frame like this with your value that you want to make so all so from 1 to 14 except 11 so how are you going to do that you do it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 which is going to be 10 12 13 14 this is a very long way of doing it right if you do it like this so i made a mistake here again no it's still the same thing if you do it like this right and then this is one particular rule then I'm going to pass in the other column which we want to work with, which is going to be uh, this column. Right, this is a column that you're working with. So if I check this, if I check this like this, so this is all the values that are there from this one. So that it's, it skipped some of them, right? It skipped, so now it is 13 instead of 14. Now, so I can find the mean of this right and then use it to fill that place so let's try and see whether it's going to work so me and this so that's giving us an error so one of the ways of doing this is either you can use a describe let's try to describe and see whether it's going to work describe right nice so that the describe worked perfectly so instead from the describe you can have this mean here then you use this mean to replace what is there right you can use the mean so you have our value as uh, df is now dot df it was supposed to be df1 no i'm making this mistake <laughs> anyway, don't worry. Then we have we had our num voted uses right as we did already so it's not I'm putting right and then I'm going to go with my num voted uses right so, so then I will equate this one to my four four six two one five seven so that is one of the ways of doing this so this is one of the ways of actually working it out Okay. but let me show you another simple way of instead of doing this long one two three four five there's another way of doing it instead of doing it like this to get all these values i'll show you a simple way of doing it so let me bring this one below right instead of doing it like this you can just do it like this df then you bring one right so that's going to be the first one it's going to bring us one that is the first in this first in this then end so it's going to loop to us from one to the end right and then you bring this secret dot bank right the dog and the banner is the negation of it and the value that you don't want to bring so it was 11 so i'll bring 11 and then so this is going to loop throughout this entire we pick everything from one to the end except this 11 right that's the meaning of this and i'll bring my column that i want to work out with 
is going to be fine this value we copy and paste it here so that it's faster so if i do it like this right it's going to bring the same thing like the previous one perfect so this is quite a simple way that to go through okay, so this is for picking everything except you pick everything every element except that element right except 11 that is the meaning of it so it's very very useful okay. so thank you for watching if you have any questions or contribution you can just put it inside the comment section so everybody can benefit and please stay tuned for the next method of dealing with missing data